Hey, what's happening guys? I got something kind of neat we're going to take a look at today. And that's this guy here. The Mr. Signal MR9270S Plus Smart Generator. This is a, a bunch of different tools kind of put together in a really nice little package. Now it is a function generator, so to speak. If I press the out here, you can see it'll output uh, milliamps, hertz, ohms, uh, 2 volts, millivolts, 6.24 volts, all, all kinds of uh, stuff. And then it also has ins where we can read milliamps, hertz, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. You can do that because it has uh, common out and ins. So, that's pretty nice. Now this was sent out to us free of charge from our good friends at Banggood. It lists for about $150. This is a nice little instrument. Comes in this package. Instruction sheet. Uh, you get two complete sets of these leads. Uh, charging equipment. Uh, this set of leads here. Works really nice. Now the reason I got it was to act mainly as a uh, current and voltage source for testing multimeters. So let's say we have a little play. Yes, it appears we're in luck. I do seem to have a couple of multimeters available for our use. Which one shall we use today? Let's, let's play with the Vici uh, 99. So we got the Vici 99 out, and uh, we'll just connect her up here. So those nice gold plated Probe Master probes. My favorites. Alright, we'll power on our generator, which has a uh, built in LiPo battery. And I'm going to hit the out button. And we're going to start by outputting, oh, voltage, how's that? So we'll turn this on for DC volts. Yeah, I have to move that a little bit so you can see it better. Let's try that, yes, yeah, that's, that's a bit better. All right, so we'll come over here. And turn it on. You can see it's outputting two volts, and it's showing us about two volts. So we can take that up. There's nine volts, and there's twelve. All looking really good, right? Nah, I think so anyway. All right, let's uh, take a look at something else. Let's go with milliamps. So I will switch over here. over to milliamps, we'll hit our out button, we'll output milliamps, there should be five, and turn it on, and there you can see, beautiful, five milliamps, there's nine milliamps, up to 24 milliamps, eh, kind of a little, little high up there, but that's more the Vici than it is this. Now if we bring it down, we'll come over here and we'll go to microamps. Let's see what we can get here. It's a little low. Again, that's the Vici. But what I'm trying to show you is that it, it can absolutely do this. Alright, let's uh Let's look at some frequencies. Uh, we'll do Hertz. And boom. There's nine, 9,999 uh, Hertz, so right at about 10 kilohertz. Works very well. 
And if you hold the out button for a couple of seconds, you can see it brings up a separate menu that lets you adjust things like pulse, PWM, speed, or different settings there as well. So let's see, do we miss anything? Well, it says it does resistance. I haven't tried that. Let's try it. So we'll put this guy here on resistance. Turn it on. So it should be outputting 200 ohms, 199.5, 390, 388. Close enough. Very, very cool. I really like this. See, this makes this uh, could turn out to be a very useful tool. What else makes it neat is it works the other way as well. It has inputs. So let's have a look at those. Output lead over to input plus, like so. We'll power it back up. I'm going to hook it up to power supply here. Which right now is not outputting anything. It looks like it's outputting a little something, doesn't it? So we'll go in and we will read voltage I'm just going to hold that for a second that's good so I'm going to reach up here try not to bump the camera we'll give her a little voltage there's 1.9 volts and as you can see it's reading 1.9 volts quite well no worries there at all so we'll take a look at this on the oscilloscope but uh yeah that's a pretty cool little device 150 bucks is what's called a process calibrator it's used a lot by technicians in the field um i'm gonna put a link to it down below so you guys can check it out and read more about it i just wanted to have a little play with it I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of it in videos to come. All right, well, there she is on the meter, or <laughs> on the scope. You can see I've got it set for uh, 100 hertz, and it's showing 100 hertz. There's 200, 300, 400, 5. There's a kilohertz. If we come in here and look, it's a little noisy. Four or five microsecond rise time. That's not really looking uh, too bad at all. We're looking at 11 and a half volts peak to peak. Run it up to our uh, 10K. And it's still looking good. A little bit, tiny, tiny little bit. Of rounding on the corner there but that's nothing nothing at all cool so that is about that I hope you guys enjoyed this little guy I had some fun playing with it we'll be playing with it some more I'd like to thank Banggood for sending this out I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video and a big thanks to the patrons for you know supporting this channel and making it happen I was looking at my uh, analytics and it seems that like the majority of the folks who watch the videos aren't subscribers so if I could ask you a personal appeal to you guys that aren't subscribers to please click the subscribe button I would love to get to a hundred thousand subscribers it would really help me with uh, connecting with some bigger companies like Tektronix and Keysight and getting some of their equipment so if you would please click that button all right that's it. I'm out. Peace.